<clears throat> Hello. Um, as you can see, I shaved because springtime's here, and yeah, it's uh, really the only explanation needed. Um, but um, I'm going to be talking about uh, all the Rocky movies, starting with uh, the very first film. Because, well, uh, as said last week, I got this uh, the 4K uh, knockout collection. Uh, and I've had this for many years, all well, six films. This was as the first four. And uh, I thought, you know, that just kind of got me back into. Uh, watching all these movies, so I thought, why not? Why not just go through them all and give uh, whatever thoughts I have of them? And I'll probably put this up here so you can actually see it better. And, yeah. yeah, Rocky uh, made it up the stairs and is uh, celebrating because, you know, hey, it's quite the feat. But, uh, especially from where he ran from. Uh, so, um, the very first Rocky, um, is generally seen as the best of the franchise, and I do agree with that. Um, there's so much uh, that's been said about it that it's like, you know, what more could you, could I really say that hasn't been said? And I guess for me, it would be basically when I first saw this, which would have been <coughs> uh, in 2006 when it was like the movie was uh, 30 years old and uh, uh, the sixth one was on the way and um, they're really having a whole lot of Rocky movies and as I mentioned that the near the end of that uh, the last video where I talked about a bunch of stuff I got including this set how you know I uh, was able to see the first four and not really the fifth one, um, but until a little later. But yeah, I uh, watched uh, that for the first time and was pretty amazed. I knew there was uh, a lot of people who enjoyed Rocky, and, um, and I had been kind of curious about it for some time, but, you know, never really did much to try and... <clears throat> watch them um i know i had seen box sets of all the uh, of all the first uh, five films for some years prior to the sixth one uh being made and releasing but i never really watched any of them you know it's like yeah, it's a boxing movie that's what i kind of thought um but when i did see it it became very clear that it isn't just a boxing movie i mean it's there, but it's in the background. And um, the main story is really about Rocky Balboa trying to prove to himself, not necessarily also others, though that's uh, no doubt maybe to some extent to others around him, but really to himself that he's just not just like some bum from the neighborhood. Like there's a lot of people in the Philadelphia area he's around that isn't the greatest, you know, he, you know, in addition to fighting, he is, he works as a loan, uh, works for a loan shark and having to, like, break people's thumbs, but he <clears throat> doesn't break the guy's thumbs when he's supposed to, and so that kind of gets him into trouble with his boss. Um, and, you know, he's like, you know, he looks tough, you know, he is tough also to it, uh, an extent, but... He also is a very good-natured person. You know, he isn't inherently, 
you know, I'm a bad guy. You know, it's like, it's like well, that old saying of like, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, and he really likes uh, Adrian, who works at a uh, local pet shop, who, uh, and uh, her brother, Polly, is Rocky's friend, and, uh, you know, Rocky likes Adrian, and um, after a while, you know, he uh, goes on a date with her at, a, at a, like a skating rink. And that moment really, you know, up to that point, the movie was already good. I think the movie got really, it got really good, you know, even great from that moment forward. Because now, you know, it's about these two characters and they, you know, and from there, they we see that they both have feelings for each other. But, you know, Adrian Shy and, <clears throat> you know... <laughs> Rocky, he, uh, he talks a lot, you know, throughout the day he primarily talks about himself and other things, but he's, you know, it's like he kind of wants to know about her, but he just uh, isn't uh, completely uh, sure of how to actually have a communication with her uh, in particular, and so he's kind of just going off and saying things hopefully it will do something to where she's wants to respond to him and so you know he's going around and trying to get her uh, sort of interested in him and all that kind of stuff so uh, go back to his place and you know and She's not really comfortable, and he's trying to make her feel comfortable, but, you know, it's obvious he's not succeeding, and then he <clears throat> goes and wants to look at her without her glasses, and then kisses her. He wants to just kiss her, and if she doesn't want to kiss him back, that's fine, and they both kiss, and uh, it's really cool how... Uh, uh, as the story goes on, the two of them, you know, grow. And as Rocky put, puts it, you know, both of them have gaps and together they fill each other's gaps. And, um, he, uh, <clears throat> is asked to fight, uh, Apollo Creed, the, uh, who was played by Carl Weathers, who was like the world champion. And he, uh, because the guy who he was supposed to fight in Philadelphia isn't able to now, you know. He, so like he's like he's like sick or whatever, but he's like ah, it's you know he just doesn't want to fight me, and so he's going to give an underdog a you know a native Philadelphian uh, a shut up the title, at the, uh, and so uh, he uh, picks a. <coughs> Rocky Balboa because of his nickname, the Italian Stallion, which Rocky himself uh, gave himself. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, we then also see uh, uh, more interactions with Rocky and Polly, played by Burt Young, and then also uh, Mickey, played by Burgess Meredith. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, you know, Polly wants to have a job. Well, Gazzo, who's Rocky's boss, but he's, you know, not sure about that. He, like, he doesn't want Polly to be, uh, you know, like, kind of like in that world or whatever. But, uh, Mickey, uh, you know, wasn't interested in helping Rocky train or anything, but upon hearing, you know, he's going to fight Apollo Creed, that's when he's going to, you know, help him. Prior to that, he wasn't going to, but, um, and, you know, Rocky is understandably upset, and, uh, you know, he kind of unleashes his anger and frustration that he has, like Mickey, and 
as soon as he's out of the room, like, he won't do it when he's there, but he uh, <clears throat> just gets uh, frustrated, he lets it all out, and then afterwards he does accept uh, Mickey's help uh, for him to train him, and so uh, we see him at the gym and uh, training, and then we also see him running, and uh, Adrian gives uh, uh, Rocky a, a dog, a butt kiss, who was actually Stallone's dog, that for a time he had to sell because of how poor he was, like, you know, he, he couldn't afford to keep a butt kiss and feed him, so he had to sell him, but uh, as soon as he, things turned uh, started to turn around for him, and he was able to get butt kiss back, and, and he's in the movie. But uh, he, you know, starts running with butt kiss, and then, you know, got the iconic moment where he runs up the stairs and does that. Uh, and just, you know, all of this, and then him, you know, wanting to, you know, realizing as soon as he goes into the ring to, or at least to the stadium and sees the ring when no one's there and looks around like how, you know, huge it is compared to the kind of clubs he fights normally, just how huge it is. It's sort of underwhelming. And, you know, he, he takes note how his, like the boxing shorts he's going to wear aren't exactly correct and the coloring you know, uh, it becomes apparent, like, you know, nobody really cares, you know, it's going to be a good show, you know. But, you know, uh, Rocky saw this as, like, a, as a fight. You know, not a real, you know, a real fight, not a uh, show. But Apollo Creed thinks this is a show, and uh, somebody who helps uh, Apollo Creed, you know, wow. Uh, uh, throughout the movies as he's watching uh, uh, Rocky train by, uh, you know, hitting uh, meat. And uh, he, uh, uh, he's like, you know, I think this guy means serious business. Because Apollo just is like, you know, we're going to just, you know, just go in and just kind of, punching stuff and that's it it's just gonna be a show and after a while Apollo's gonna win but uh but yeah uh, you know Rocky just really wants to go the distance to prove that he isn't just some bum from the neighborhood and uh he's able to do so and at the end of the movie you know spoilers but he doesn't win you know it's a split decision and Creed wins Rocky doesn't care all he cares about is Adrian you know he loves Adrian and that's all he's concerned about and one of the things that happens is when he sees her he's like where's your hat because as she's going to the ring after it's over there's a lot of people there and her hat is knocked off and uh yeah when I watched this for the first time it was really uh, uh fantastic it was really amazing <clears throat> just the characters and the story also just Really well done. Stallone, of course, wrote uh, all six of those uh, films, the first films, uh, by himself. You know, nobody wrote it with him. The first film was uh, directed by John Avelson, and uh, he won Best Director. This film won Best Picture and Editing. Um, came out in 1976, and... There's a lot of great films that year. Um, as I've mentioned, I really love uh, Taxi Driver. So that would have been my preferred uh, film to have, like one best picture and you know, an actor and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, De Niro and Stallone both lost uh, <clears throat> actor to Peter Finch in Network. Even though, you know, when watching that, that's, he's more of a supporting role. You know, William Holden in that film has more screen time, but I guess they thought Peter Finch was, you know, important enough, obviously, to the story that he deserved a, uh, being considered or looked at as the co-lead. 
Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this is an excellent film. You know, just recounting the the mo those moments and the characters that really uh, just stood out to me <clears throat> when I was really young and uh, watching uh, those movies. Uh, subsequent to this film, you know, the sequels was really cool. You know, I, I do like how the sequels kind of do pick up uh, in a way, like right after the last film. That's something that doesn't always happen. And in some cases it wouldn't make sense to, but uh, the Rocky movies are able to do that in uh, such a way uh, that it makes sense. And, um, I do think that uh, Burgess Meredith should have won an Academy Award for Rocky. He was also nominated with uh, Burt Young for Supporting Actor, but Burgess Meredith was really a, uh, an amazing actor. Not just in this, but in so many of the films and shows he was on. Of course, being a fan of Batman, I... <clears throat> Knew him at a young age as the Penguin. That's what I remembered him for. And then, of course, see a Rocky. He's like, oh, that's cool, the Penguin. And the Penguin's here, and he's going to train Rocky. Sort of sound like this. So, uh... <clears throat> my, uh, my voice is kind of like, eh. Right now, I don't know why. It's like... I guess sinuses or whatever, but... So... Not really able to do the voice completely justice. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, Burgess Meredith did a great job. You know, he always did a great job. And everybody in this movie did a great job. Stallone did. This was obviously his breakout role. You know, this was the role that, you know, uh, he would have gotten a lot of money for the script had uh, he been fine with... Uh, Somebody like Robert Redford or um, I think Ryan O'Neill might have been the other person to play Rocky. And uh, yeah, I think those were like two of the guys they were looking at to play Rocky and He's like, no, I'll, I'm only selling this script if I can play Rocky. And so because it was eventually agreed upon that would happen, the script, you know, the, or the movie had like a budget, like a, like a, like 900000 $999,999, $999, just less than a million dollars, they got the, Budget, they were able to shoot uh, in 20 some days. Forget exactly how many right offhand, which of course I would in this moment, but you know, it was very short. And so, if for, for a certain period of time during that, the day of the shooting, uh, they had it where they could fire Stallone in a certain X amount of days if they thought he just was not right or looking for any reason to just, you know, let him go <clears throat> and they could get somebody else. But clearly we know that that never happened and he got to play the part all the way through and, well, now we know Sylvester Stallone um, because of Rocky. And so, you know, that's somebody who, you know, it's like wrote a, uh, a part for himself and then some other people would use that as an example, like Jazz Palmateri for um, A Bronx Tale. You know, that was like he would not allow anybody to have the script to that, which was based off of his one-man show, unless he played uh, the character he does in the movie. And Robert De Niro played uh, the, the dad of the character that's basically him as a kid. And then he also directed the movie. <clears throat> and uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck had that sort of thing. Like, Stallone did that, so they're going to sort of do that with Goodwill Hunting. Like, they're all parts of themselves, and if they, you know, and if any studio wants it, 
they have to buy it with them as the uh, characters they wrote for themselves and so that obviously worked out for them so you know it can happen write a part for yourself and you can uh, perhaps uh, get to play the part you intended to play from the beginning um, yeah anyway uh, I love Rocky uh, it's an excellent movie um, and even though I'm not I, I don't I think that like you know text driver was a better film I'm not really upset that this film won best picture but you know it's like at least a good movie won as opposed to one that's kind of like really that one best picture and it's basically uh, forgotten about nobody remembers it at all or if they do it's just because it beat like Tax Driver or Rocky or Network you know one of those winners that it's only remembered for what it beat not because it was actually the best of that year Rocky is an excellent film spawn a successful franchise including some spin-off films now and yeah it's really all I've got right now but uh yeah next time I will do uh, Rocky 2 so uh until then hope you're all having a great day and a great way, uh, week and I'll see you all next time bye